Hello everyone. Today I will present to you an Einstein renal disease case report. So first, let me check it some information. Our patient in Nguyen Bang Thi. He is a 65 years old male farmer who works in Phu Khao Wo Lung Ho District with Long Province. He was admitted at 10 a.m. on April 60, 2090 due to his swollen feet. The patient complained that he got swollen eyes and feet the very quick and will perform with hemodialysis procedure at Kung Ho Central Hospital. The symptom disappeared so he checked out with take home medication on April 10 and three days before admission. He lost his appetite, had answers at night, and the same day of admission, he woke up with swollen feet and eyes. The sudden dizziness hit the man while he was wandering around his house. He took some pills but didn't feel any better, and he was taken to the hospital. In the hospital, he is alert, well oriented, he has normal rhythm, and is clear to auscultation bilaterally. His feet and eyes were swollen skin were a little pale and itching with dizziness. His vital signs were noted below. Blood pressure is about 160 over 90 mmHg. Pulse about 68 beats per minute. Uh, temperature is 37 Celsius degree. Respiratory rate is 20 times per minute. Saturation of peripheral oxygen is 90%. Through a careful discussion, a hemodialysis procedure will perform again that afternoon. After that, he lost 500 grams and his swollen feet got better and better. No dizziness or swollen eyes thereafter, and no sign of a urea. In the past, he had some internal medical problems, such as hypertension for one year. His maximum blood pressure is about 200 mmHg. He was treated with nifedipine 20 mg three times daily. Chronic kidney disease for one and a half years. He was treated with low shaktang 50 mg twice a day, twice to diabetic mellitus for 50 years. Treated with insulin daily, he, he has been using aeropoietin twice a week for three months. He was performed a splendectomy after an accident at the age of 36. Now, he now has IV fistula for months so as to get treated with periodic hemodialysis. His allergic and family history is clean, no smoking or alcohol consumption. At 7 a.m. on April 70, 2019, when I came to examine him, the patient is alert, well oriented, with stable vital signs below. His BMI is moderate, 21.6, with the weight of 60 kg and the height of 1.65 m. His skin is warm to touch, no rashes, inguinal, neck, axillary, limb nodes, and a palmpatic. He chest parents, no edema, no incision. He has normal rhythm about 71 pump per minute. As one, as two, normal without murmur, gallop, root, no as three or four. He respiratory is symmetrically pending, no collateral circulation, no use of accessory muscle. It's clear to auscultation bilaterally. We saw a clear bilaterally with the rocko, ronkai, or wheezing. His omnop, no pino symmetrical, associated with reading, no collateral circulation. He had an all surgery scars about 50 cm at the middle line. His stomach, his stomach is sharp, no tenderness. His liver, spleen, is not palpated. His power show were present about 6 times per minute. The kidney is not palpated. Ureter tenderness is negative. No rectal examination is performed. Shows to have a clear 
view of the patient, we give him some subclinical diagnostic, like complete blood count, serum power chemistry, like creatinine, urea, nitrate, kali, chlor, boon, ASD, ALT, urine test, and uh, urine test strip, microscopic examination, cardiac control, transporminal control, HCG, chest, it ray, KUB, it ray, CRP, and blood glucose monitoring. And here is some results. His complete blood counts show abnormal amount of percent neutrophil, so few percent red blood cell, hemoglobin, hematocrit, a little low. His blood test of APTT is a little longer than normal. His serum biochemistry have high level of urea and creatinine. With, we can calculate the GFR is about 6.3 milliliter per minute per 1.73 meters square PSA. So our patient is in anti renal disease. In his urine, we see that he has blood, blood cell protein. His CRP test is about 0 0.02 nanogram over millimeter. In cardiac ultrasound, he got mitral regurgitation, 1.5 over 4, transcopic regurgitation, 3 over 4, EF about 52%, PAP is about 66 mAg, he has minor cardiac effusion. His ECG has sign of freedom, it's regular and the rate is about 69 bits per minute. In summary, he's a 65 years old male patient who was admitted to the hospital because of swollen feet, Brooks consulting resident units, past medical history, and physical examination of the patient. We obtained that he has moderate chronic anemia, uremic syndrome, and edema of kidney disease. And in, in the past, he has hypertension, chronic kidney disease, type 2 DM, slendectomy, no smoking or alcohol consumption. And the valuable subclinical diagnostic results, we got red blood cell is 2.4 mi million, hemoglobin is 7.4 gram per deciliter. Hematocrit is about 21 per point eight percent. It's a little close. He has urine analysis, have red blood cell and protein. EGFR is about 6.3 millimeters over minutes over 1.73 meters square PSA. His serum urease is high as it's about 36.6 millimon per liter. So we came with the diagnosis with end stage renal disease. It's more likely to be a complication of type 2 DM in hypertension stage 3, following GNT6 in risk group C, type and type 2 diabetic. Assessment and treatment. His main problem is end stage renal disease, so we will treat the system. Swollen fist and eye with uremia can be solved with hemodialysis. We have to keep his blood pressure under control under 135 over 85 mmHg and his hemoglobin about 10 to 12 gram per deciliter. No complication in addict. With dialytics and artificial kidney, he can guide his lifespan to lengthen. Twice to DM, we had to keep his fasting blood glucose under 130 mg over deciliters, hemoglobin A1c under 7.5%. About internal medicine, hypertension can be treated with ibuprofen, 150 mg one tablet, orally once a day at 8 a.m. Anemia can be treated with aerial protein and fat to 
1,400 unit intervened three, three times a week on Monday, Friday, or Wednesday. Twice to DM can be treated with insulin meat tuck, or 10 units twice a day subcutaneous in the morning and in the evening before the meals. So that's on. Thank you for your attention. It's an honor for me to get feedback from you guys. Thank you.